Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy day 27 of the challenge. You only have three days left, you guys. It is very early here on Sunday morning. It's about 630 in the morning. I'm about to go teach a yoga class. And then I've got the yoga intensive a little bit later today. Um, second a uh, big lecture of the yoga intensive. And again, again, the new dates will be posted soon on the website for the January 8th start for that yoga intensive. So let's go ahead and look at what we got going on today again for Sunday, November 27th. You have three days left, as I said. Sunday fun day, make your bed up. Your last meal but should be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. And now you get your choices for your Sunday fun day workout. You can either do sweat into the oldies with our guru Richard Simmons, or you can do um, a walk with your family and friends or your pet, or you can do your own dance freestyle for 60 minutes if you choose to. For your meditation, you have a choice between doing the all meditation or the sound bowl healing. And then, of course, you have your journaling. But let's go ahead and look forward to tomorrow, Monday, November 28th, because today is a big day. You're again going to make your bed up and your last meal is going to be between 5 and 7 p.m. So you can give the 12 hour break to your digestive system. But today you get to pick your own exercise. And today I say you can either pick from any of the previous workouts or is there another workout you really want to try? Find a YouTube and do it or go to a class that offers that workout with your experience. Have confidence with your choice. And so today you can do whatever you want. So if you want to do any of the exercises that have been presented in this challenge, you're more than welcome to. Or you can do something different. If there is a cycling class you want to try or if there is, you know, a dance class you want to try in town or if there's a Pilates class you want to go to. Try that today. Go take that class today. You now have about 27, 28 days worth of experience. So you can trust your experience now making your own choices. And if you go to a different class that you've never tried before and you don't, you end up not liking it, then that's okay too. You've now learned, right? You've now tried it and you've learned from it. All right. During your uh, meditation, you pick any of the meditations we've done during this challenge for sound bowl healing to alm challenge to Reiki. You pick today. Which one, which meditation do you want to do? If there's another meditation that was not used in this challenge that you want to try, try it today. And the reason why I'm allowing you this flexibility is because in a few days time, you're going to have to schedule your own challenge for the month of December. So I want you to start to trust your choices and trust your ability to make choices based off of your own experience. And if the choices you pick again are not what they thought they were going to be, okay, cool, you learned right? No, no need to beat yourself up about it. You learned and tomorrow you make a different choice. All right. You got your, your food journal and then your journal to ask yourself tomorrow, what exercise did you pick and why? What meditation did you pick and why? Did you try something new? If so, what was your experience? Do you feel like you have more confidence in exploring different modalities on the path to your healing? What did this challenge teach you about picking workouts? That's a really big one. What did this challenge teach teach you about picking your own workouts? Are you going to be more apt in the future to pick the workouts that are more challenging because now you understand friction? Or are you going to be more apt to pick more anaerobic exercise versus the aerobic like we talked about in the very beginning of the challenge because now you understand that anaerobic is actually going to do more work for your body and your soul and your emotions than the aerobics will. What have you learned about that? Go back and reread all your food journaling. Start from the very first entry up to today. So again, go back, reread everything from the whole 27 days before about your food journaling. What did you learn about your diet? What food causes you upset stomach, gas, constipation, diarrhea? What food causes you anxiety, depression, or make you sleepy? Can you now recognize if you're reacting this way to food, then what is not food then what is not a food that is good for you? How do you feel about this? On the flip side, which foods gave you energy, didn't bloat you, helped your digestion? Can you now recognize that if you're reacting this way to these foods, that these foods that are... Can you now recognize that if you're acting this way to these foods, then these foods are the foods that are good for you? How do you feel about this? Is there anything that... Is there anything about how your body reacted to certain foods that surprises you? Does this challenge your programming on nutrition from the controllers? I think it really does because a lot of people have talked about the whole protein deficient thing, which isn't really a thing, right? It's more protein and spinach than steak. So I can see that programming coming out. So where has the dosha system challenged your programming? 
that you've been programmed to think about food from the controllers, from the bad guys, right? Does food being an energy that needs to align with your energy make more sense to you now? How does eating foods that work with your body affect your workouts? Go back and review the dosha system from the first Saturday self-study. Your food journal was a practice in starting to understand how your body works and responds to energy. If you want to go further, start to follow the dosha diet once you know wh what your dosha is. Typo here. By going deeper into this, it, it is recommended you find an Ayurvedic doctor and the same bedtime routine as normal. All right. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you feel better prepared uh, going about this journey on your own in December? Do you again feel like you have the knowledge to pick appropriate workouts for yourself? What's been the most surprising thing about the workout? Has it been the anaerobic versus the aerobic? Or are you surprised by how bar has transformed you or yoga? Um, were you surprised by the kickboxing? What is it about the workouts and you that you have learned from this experience? Are you now a little bit more open to being uncomfortable in a workout? Are you a little bit more open to the beauty of friction and that, that that friction is needed there should be no easy workout there should be no passive workout you should always be in a state of creating friction because with friction there is change and again how is the diet system different for you are you feeling more of a liberation with food now that you understand that your body is going to tell you exactly what it needs and what it doesn't need let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, guys, I hope you're having an awesome Sunday and uh, you got this. You're so close to the end of this challenge, or this particular challenge, not at the end of shadow work, but for this particular challenge. So you guys are doing awesome. Keep up the good work and I will talk to you soon.